In the second question type, your job gets a little bit more mysterious. Let's talk about the detective. A detective's job is tricky. Nothing is ever obvious. They have to look for clues, find hints, and look out for patterns to solve complicated mysteries. This is where the word inference comes in. To infer, you have to look carefully at something. It means to find hidden meanings and figure something out. Sometimes, that's what you'll have to do in a comprehension. If you get asked about information that isn't exactly explained in the text, don't get confused. It's because you will have to infer the answer. You might spot a detective question by noticing phrases like Why do you think this person said that thing to that person? Or, what do you think this person was thinking when they gave that person a funny look? The text might not say what the person was thinking. You have to figure it out, or infer it, from other clues in the text. Warning! This does not mean give your opinion. The examiner only cares about what you can work out from the clues, not what you personally think. Even if the question starts with, do you think, it still doesn't want your opinion. So when it comes to answering detective questions, here's what to do. Go back to the passage. No prizes for guessing that one. Look for clues. Go through the text looking carefully for things that might be hinting at the hidden meaning that you've been asked about. You might get asked about a particular line in the passage, but remember to look for clues in the whole text, not just the part that they mention. Sometimes the clue is in the context. Once you're ready to answer the question, here's how to use your old friend PEE to structure it. Your point should be the hidden meaning that the question was asking you about. Your evidence is the clue that helped you figure it out, and the explanation is the way you inferred the meaning from the clue. For example, if you get a question like, what kind of animal do you think Hilda is and why? A good answer could be, Hilda is a chicken. We can tell this from the way that she clucks and gleefully presents new shiny eggs each morning. These are things that chickens do. Now remember, even though the question says, what do you think? It doesn't mean that you can say, I think Hilda's a badger because badgers are really cool and I love badgers. This is about inference, not your opinion. Another example. Why do you think Bob rolled his eyes on line 27? Bob thinks that Mary is being boastful and so rolls his eyes to show his disapproval. This can be seen in the phrase, this was typical of Mary. Bob had seen her gloat like this many times. This shows that Bob was tired of seeing Mary show off. Can you see how the meaning of Bob's eye rolling has been inferred from the clue? And PEE structure is used very clearly. So if you think you're ready to do some detective work of your own, make your way towards the quiz and practice questions. Or have another watch of this video first.